Hi guys. Wow. It's good to be back here again to discuss about the Dorian mood. In our last lesson, we discussed about Dorian mode skill, which our basis was D Dorian, and we use C major skill as our base of points. And I promise you guys that in this class, the next class that we'll be talking about the application. And I told you one of the greatest challenge most musicians or saxophonists have is application. And we have decided to choose a song, a popular song, because of whom you are. And I'll be doing this along with one of my panel shaker students, Daniel Additional. Thank you. <laughs> Nice play Thank from you, additional. Thank you, sir. Can you how sweet and interesting a doyan we can be? And you know, in our last class, I told you the major thing we'll be working on is application. You just add what it did on that song. And I, I told you, doyan mode works with a minor chord. Not that. It's going to explain, give you a breakdown of all what he did. So guys, I'm going to be giving you a quick breakdown of what I played and how I played it. The song I just did is Because of Who You Are and I played it on my C which is pitched as an E flat on the concert. And the chord which I expressed my Dorian scale on is the F minor chord. So on my G, I played a G dominant which is just simply a major scale with a flat in seventh. And this is what it sounds like. Then I went to the key of C and I played a major. And then I went to the key of F and I kind of, I used a rising fourth. And then I went to the key of D and played my normal Dorian. So that's all. Naturally, this is what you hear or interpret when you are playing the D Dorian mode. But like my boss said, it's going to be tedious and quite boring for you to imagine yourself playing notes like more, do, do, and the combination just doesn't sit well. So, uh, just what he just explained to you, what he expressed on was on F minor, which is a minor chord. And from the keys playing, that is the F minor chord means the real chord of that particular key. Now, remember I told you in our first lesson that what are you seeing as a saxophone, as a musician? Now, the first, it will tell you the first do you have the place? Fa mo do to re do la so. But me, I can come and I will tell you is do to so fa la so mi re. I told you when you play a Dorian mode in one key, most time it sounds boring. I told you the last time some people will tell, just like it's been explained to you that it's from Re to Re, guys. Re mi fa so la ti do re, re do ti la so fa mi re. If you are playing in that mode, it becomes boring. But when you, as a good musician, you should be able to think it in a different way. When you are thinking as if you are playing it on the key of the D Dorian itself, you are playing on the key of G and the key of C. And don't forget one thing. Let me give you one, a quick expo. A Dorian mode of D can still be described as a dominant of key G scale. What if it's uh, dominant of G scale, G major scale? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, to, do. That's dominant. So it tells you a D Dorian can
can also be imagined as a G dominant scale. So that's why I told you, what are you saying? What are you seeing as the, so you must think deep and see how it's been expressed. Now, it's going to play it very, very slow to understand what is just. breakdown of everything I just played uh, if you interpret it as a D Dorian you can see there is the addition of a flattened third and flattened seventh but it, the truth is that in order for you to be able to be flexible about it if you think on D Dorian it will be a little tedious for you so which brings about the other way you can play Dorian scale which is thinking other keys but still maintaining the original Dorian notes so I played on G dominant, I played a C major, I played F major with a rising fourth, and I played a D Dorian. So in addition to what you just said, you know I told you when you think in one key, it becomes broad. Now we're going to do the example of how bone can be. When you think about it, it's really different. So like, you know, when you don't think that's all for me, we'll be doing the song again now see how it will sound and when you play it in different key will give you to decide and see which one is more better. 